this is lesson 164 and today uh, I've got the colours up there they're the colours I use, the colours I use the Eurocean, the Ultramarine, the Ultramarine Burn Tumble and a great mix of Lizard and Crimson so I can move them now, you know what you're doing by now and I'll show you the picture what we've got this picture is a picture and the, 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 the view is this these two rocks are particularly rocks we're talking about it's called the, the Cow and Calf Rocks. And it, it's on Ilkley Moor. You've heard of Ilkley Moor, haven't you? Ilkley Moor about that. But that's, that's, the, that's the cow and that's the calf. And to give you scale, the, the, you've got to show people on top of these things to make sure you, you can guide, give some idea of, of, of scale. So that's what we're going to do today. And we'll get cracking straight away and pop the sky in. Clean water, such a clean water, by the rocks. I think I've had too much water there, take some water out of that. Touch of sunshine in there. The sun today is coming from, let's see now, I'll say it's coming from the, from the right, yes, from the right. Awesome. Touch of blue up here. So we kept around the rocks. If you can. in the base of that sky there and also on the rock and some heavy cloud as well Leave that light behind the behind the rock there, and behind this one. Light from the right, so cloud shadow on the left, isn't it? A touch of cloud shadow in there for you. Well, that's dry now. Now, what I want to do is, is in, in the background there, there's a, there's a, a landscape, another hill coming down there. So I better pop that in just to, uh, and I'm popping this in with, I've mixed some uh, ultramarine with the uh, alizarin crimson, a weak mix of it. I don't want to put, put details of cows and pigs in it or anything like that. It's, it's just a distant suggestion of landscape. As it gets warmer towards it, I'm going to alter the, change the colour and put a bit of uh, raw sienna into it. Let, let's just 
Just make it a bit warmer as it comes towards us. Mind the rock. And a bit more greenery as it gets closer to us. Add a touch of, just a touch of cadmium yellow into there, just bring it towards me. Let's try, I bring my rush to me, I've missed a bit there, can you see it? We all make mistakes, you know. Me more than most. I'm just going to put a bit of greenery in there as well. I'll match it up with that there. I just denote some some sort of field different fields on, on, the, on the hillside there. Don't try and put roots in things like that, it's just, it's, it's the land, it's, it's a different, it's separating the fields, that's all it's doing. Fields down here, of course. I'll put the old tree down there. Back. The cabin yellow. Dutty winds with a red shade in there. <coughs> One little tree down there. In the distance. Right, the rocks themselves are like a, a, a grey colour, so I've got a, a mix of grey colour now. Uh, and I think the, the, the best way of doing this is, is use the two colours I've got, which, which, I'm, which I'm familiar with. That's the Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. And, and get the balance between them into, into a nice grey. So there's more Burnt Umber in there will give me sort of a, a grey colour. It should do anyway. I've done it many times. to that on here. They call the cow and calf rocks these, the, uh, it, there's been in films and all sorts, they're very famous. In fact, every time I go to Ilkley to do a show, I, I, I stay at a hotel, or it's like a pub hotel, which is just, just off, off picture here, called the Cow and Calf Hotel, which is, which is smashing, because I've, I've got this view out of the bedroom windows as I, as I sort of get up in the morning, and, it, and it's nice. And then I go and do my, do my painting, which is, which is nice as well. So you get the best of both worlds. And I've walked up here, but there's a path that takes you right up here, right through here, and, and you can walk and then get on top of the rocks. I didn't get that far, mine. I, I, I came on, on, on this one, yeah. But I do know you can get on top of there. So if you wanted to check out where it is, it's the Cow and Calf Rocks on Ilkley Moor. 
and you can see that it's a, it's a, it's a famous famous rock formation so you're able to see it in all its glory I, told you I, should, I shouldn't tell you that because I, I can't cheat now I've got to do it accurately haven't you This is the undercoat, right? Bit of rock here as well. Let's get this, this done as well. Yes, it's it's, it's really, really famous. In fact, it, I have to that sort of tell several times, but uh, my. my my worst memory of it is I went to bed one night and, and at the time I'd got a, 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 a car called a Ford Scorpio. Pride and joy it was in my heart. It used to go like, like mad. And uh, I used to travel the country in it. And I get up one morning, or the, the, the morning as I was leaving, and looked out to the car park and someone had smashed into the back of my car the night before or something driven off and said nothing and of course I had to foot the bill nearly a thousand pound I asked the manager if he got a, a, a sort of a CTV camera in there but at the time there, there was there were new 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 developments these CT cameras and that so we hadn't, so I was stuck. So that was a very pleasant trip, that one. I didn't like it one little bit. But all part of life rich pattern, isn't it? You meet some nice people, and you meet some people, well, you don't meet them because they just, just don't appear. So that, that, that's the sort of undercoat of, of what I wanted on those rocks. Right, I'm to dry that. I want, I want to sort of get rid of this, this snow effect. I like to get rid of the, the, the area that's unpainted. So I'm going to pop in this foreground an undercoat of. It, it, it was like uh, dried grasses in that autumn time, you know. So so I'm, I'm putting this, this colour in here just to get the, the feel of the autumn colour onto it. Number ten, Bruce. If you're interested, it's it's, it's handy for just blocking in a bit quicker on a small piece of paper like this. Bit of dark stuff on there. a touch of uh, French ultramarine into that and let's see you guys showed me a sort of a, a, a graph that's that's not in your face but it's 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 a bit more green than what we've got there and let's, let's pop some in shall we
on there. And it, it, there was heather on this as well, on, on this hillside, so I want to try and pop in a, a little bit of heather, perhaps, just to... Some ultramarine and some uh, alizarin crimson. Test it first, whatever you do. It's important you test it. Because you never know what you're going to get. Test, test, test. Paint once, but test ten times. Well, let's try that for a start. See how we go. And this is this is just one wet into wet, sort of just to try and get some. It's a bit wet really, I should be waiting, I used to be more patient to wait until it dried a bit, but, but I didn't. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Try again. Let's. We've, we've, we've got rid of the, the wet. See if we can. Some, this is dry into dry now. Let's see if we can get some heather. Oh, I'm just soften that colour a little bit. It's too. Too in your face. Let's test again. smaller brush than this it's it's a bit uh, number 10 a bit a little bit big for what I was trying to do the number six this one yes a lovely pub that where I've stayed in this I've had so much fun and I used to like doing the Ilkley show because it was one was with wind and Newman and doing doing the Sort of uh, like you do with the big people, and we had a good time. Really didn't do it. And, and of course, you meet the people from who were doing Dale Rowney and, and various other brushes and stuff like that. And, and, and of course, as a group, you get together and uh, and, and have a good time. Some of the, the, the dealers from various shops who had a good night out and stuff like that. I'll try and soften that a bit because it's going further back.
Don't beat a bit of heather around there like that. And of course, you, you get ferns as well. They should pop some one or two ferns in, shouldn't they? Let's mix a bit of fern stuff, shall we? That is a bit of dry palette there. Need some cadmium yellow. With some winter blue red shade in there. Let's see if I can just test it. See if we give it a bit of, a bit of a fern colour coming up round here. It sets off the colour of the the heather as well, doesn't it? Like a complementary colour. Yeah, I've got a small brush now and I've got some flicks of this, this like a grassy stuff. Flick it up from from around here and it's it's not this it's 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 worse, but it's like a dead grass really. But it's 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 in amongst all these these heathers and stuff like that. You especially see them in the foreground because it's you're just on top of it. Um, you're on top of it. You can see exactly what's going on. You wouldn't see them up there. darker green, more blue into it, brings it forward a bit. I'll have a look on the rocks, the, the, the rocks have got to be done yet. I want to get all this, this, this supporting stuff done first. You grass it anchor the anchor the heather down and stuff like that. Right now let's uh, let's see about the, these rocks. I'll, I'll start at the left hand side and work my way right because I'm right handed. If you're left handed start the other way. Uh, so these are bearing in mind where the light's coming from. So you can also shape some of these rocks aren't you? First of all pick out the, the rocks that are in the in the shade. crevices and stuff like that on them. And 
dogs in here. This rock is, is in front of that one, so this will be dark here. Nicely set against the sky, that one. Little bit of castellation, if you like, on that. Bearing in mind with the sun, the sun's from the right, of course. And you're going to get your darks on your left, aren't you? Sit close to where the, the rocks are and the, and the crevices. Leave them. Let's do on this, this one now. Now this one's slightly closer to us, so I think it's it's, it's got to be a bit a bit stronger in tone, doesn't it? Not a lot, just a, a, a little touch. <coughs> light on the left, uh, uh, light on the right. Sorry, the full darks are on the on the left hand side. A crevice there. Soften that edge. It's, it's a soft crevice there. And it dips in the rock. The filters away to nothing. Because they get your edges there, they are sharp because it's it's against the light. And then down this panel here, it's it's quite dark. I'm penciling that in with a, a line, but it's, it's it's soaking into that that area of wetness there, which which is nice. It'll it softens it a little bit. That's a lucky a lucky happening, if you like. There's one more crevice here that I want to put in. Well, that's dry now, and then, then we'll put a figure on, on, on there, we'll see, we, see what it looks like. Uh, put a bit of colour on it. Uh, put, put Fred on, shall we? Fred with his red jumper. He's going to be small. Trousers on it, some dark trousers, 
drafty at that rock, I bet. I know it's drafty anyway. So that gives you some idea, idea of scale. That now we'll do a similar treatment to these people up here. Put them some clothes on. Something subdued, I think. He's got a white top on. Put a white hat on. There he is. Put uh, a bit of lemon up there. Start the fiddle now. I can feel it. Stop. Stop fiddling. Well, that's how. That's how. Cow and calf rocks, folks. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you've never been to Ilkley, it's a nice place to go and visit. And uh, to go up on the hillside towards Ilkley Moor, and the Cow and Calf Hotel and the rocks are up there waiting. You can get a nice lunch in there, I tell you. So, uh, so do give it a try and, and, and take your brushes with it and your, your photographs and, and uh, capture some nice shots and uh, it, it, it'll be rewarding for you. But that, I've enjoyed that one, the cow and calf rocks. It brings back lots of memories for me. So until next time, folks, it's, uh, if you liked it, give it a subscribe and, and, uh, and, uh, and a like and whatever you do. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So until then, folks, it's goodbye.